facial muscles. And I use a lot of punchers and grinders in the masseter. I'll take about, I'll start out, I'll find the trigger point, and I'll do about 10 units and 10 units. And for some people it's effective, for some people they need more. Um, I don't do the, the posterior cervical areas. I don't feel comfortable. I would rather my neurologist do that. But yes, it's very effective for punches and binders if the muscle is the problem. Transmission, and if someone here knows more than I do about this, feel free to correct me. It prevents the transmission of your acetylcholine, your neurotransmitters across the gap to the muscle. So what happens is the nerves are firing, but at that motor end plate, the neurotransmitters are not getting across to the muscle to activate the muscle. So the nerves are effectively disconnected from the muscles. So that... How long would affect that? The, depending on the person, your standard um, dilution of Botox is generally about three months. Now, if you have someone that, you, that needs more, it may be two months. If you have someone that's a hyper-responder, it may go four months. Um, and the more often you do it, the less often you need to do it. Because the muscle hyperactivity will tend to settle down. But generally, you assume three, three months. So it's a sort of temporary... Uh, temporary... The muscles are healed, hopefully. Well, it, you're not going to heal anything. All you're doing is giving the person a chance to change their habits and get through an acute period. 